Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I'm your product specialist for tractors. Today you join me here at our Class UK headquarters at Saxum and in this video we're going to talk about our display layout in the Cebus machines. So you join me up in the cab of our Cebus machine looking at some of the adjustments and the layout of our Cebus display that we have here in front of us. Well essentially we have firstly three main displays. We have an on-road display we can see here, which is very, very simple and is just what information we might want to see when we are actually on the road. So we have obviously our forward speed, RPM, diesel level, ABLU level, and engine temperature there as well. So nice and simple and clear and easy to see when we're moving down the road. If we pop across, we can then see our in-field display. So we get a little bit more information about how, firstly how the machine is performing and then also a level of quick access as well. So we can see that we have our droop outlined here at 15%. We have, for example, then an acceleration setting set of two and a half. We can see our linkage at the back end of the machine, but we can also then tap on different areas of our silhouette to adjust items quickly. So for example, I can tap on my gearbox to adjust my engine droop. I can tap on my engine to adjust my engine memories. Same thing goes for my spool valves down the bottom. We would also then be able to see the state of these spool valves once they are unlocked when the machine is running as well. If I pop across then we can also see our ISO UT display. So for any ISOBUS implements that we have connected to the machine, we can have them being displayed here on our uh, CBIS display here also. We then see the next part of our display is our secondary displays here. So these three boxes, top, middle and lower. We can change what we see within these as operator preference. So at the minute I have my function keys, I have my transmission display and general information about the machine. But if I press and hold on this, I can then change this to, for example, front and rear hitch, giving me my hitch height, for example. Or again, if I press and hold, I could change it to my CSM for my um, headlamp management. Or for example, if I had a camera plugged in, I could have my camera displayed here in this box if I so wished. So again, a nice element of operator preference and being able to set that. So to personalize some of these settings, we can pop down into our Cebus menu on the right hand side. And we can then go down to firstly, our user defined display. In here, we can select either display one or display two, and we can set what we would like to see. So for example, we can see here at the moment we have engine droop, distant traveled, instant fuel consumption and user type. But if I so wished, I could change this to what implement I have on the back end of the machine and maybe area per hour and maybe task playing and pause there as well. So directly on my home page, if I now change this back to display one, we can see that information displayed on my CBIS screen there as well. Secondly, if I pop into Cebus again and come down to allocation of secondary displays, this is where I can easily change those secondary displays which we showed you earlier on. And you can see that there's a separate setting for my in-field display or my on-road display. In here as well, we can also see the ability to turn on or off my video inputs. So like we said, if we had a camera plugged into the machine and also then other general settings about the machine. So display and brightness, being able to activate an automatic mode or a night mode, for example, and other audio and brightness settings there as well. The last thing to point out in a general term for our Cebus machines is obviously our display has a touch functionality. But if we so wished, we still have our direct access keys here as well. We have our rotary dial, which we can use to highlight the menu that we wish to adjust. We can push that in to enter that menu. We also then have an escape key to come backwards. We have then a quick access for the last setting that we adjusted as well. Nice and simple direct access keys there. So thank you for watching everyone. Feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.